good morning so uh, i was out of focus so last night i started my period which means that the next few days are gonna suck um but i really want to start posting on this channel more like i want to do at least once a week like i do on the main channel because i want this channel to grow because i actually really really like vlogging and shit so um basically i'm kind of doing not really a life hack but like a life cheat you know like a cheat to do better at life in my opinion because this is what i do basically i'm doing like a how to look hot even though you feel like shit because right now i don't feel my best but i want to try and look good you know because i do have to leave the house today so i don't want my appearance to reflect how I feel inside. <laughs> I want to look better outside than I feel inside. So this is your step-by-step -step on how to do that. The first step um, is actually not something to do with your physical appearance. The first step is kind of more like the first, um, it's like a um, subtitle. It's like a subtitle, you know, a subtitle of, of steps I don't know basically before you can try to make yourself look good when you feel like shit you have to try to make yourself feel good because you know even if you are the hottest person in the fucking room your outfit is amazing your hair looks great but if you don't feel like you if you don't feel good then you're not gonna feel as good as you look right you know I have days where Sorry I'm like moving a lot, but I'm also not sorry. I have, you know, off days sometimes where I just feel bad. I feel like shit and that kind of turns into I think I look bad. And I could put on a cute little outfit and really nice makeup and still look at myself and be like, no, this looks bad. Even though if I were to take a picture, it really wouldn't. But because I don't feel good, I don't feel like I look good. So the first step that we need to do before we can look good is try to help ourselves feel good. I'm gonna do two things. For one, I've already had coffee, but that's kind of like an everyday thing, so I'm not counting that. If you wanna count that, you can. But what I'm doing is two things. For one, I'm charging this. My boyfriend got it for me for National Girlfriend Day. It's like, um, it's like a heating pad, but you strap it to you, and it has like a thing where it massages your uterus. Um, and I'm so excited to use this. It fucking got delivered literally right after my last period ended, so I had to suffer <laughs> last period. But I'm charging this thing up uh, because I have my pottery class today, and I'm taking this bitch with me because I just feel like that makes sense. You know, I'm gonna be hunched over a pottery wheel, and I know that's gonna make my back hurt, but if I can avoid cramps I'm gonna fucking do that obviously so I'm gonna plug this in okay so step two in the subcategory of making yourself feel better is to do something that is low low risk high reward do something you enjoy right so I am going to play the sims and listen to music because I just downloaded a bunch of new Sims 4 custom content last night, but I didn't play it yet because it was kind of late. And so I just ended up going to bed. So I'm gonna play Shameless for a little bit. First of all, no, I'm not naked. Second of all, um, I said play Shameless. I meant to say play The Sims. I said Shameless because I was thinking about last night. I went to bed watching Shameless. There, there you go. Because it's only 8.30 in the- holy shit, it's only 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> it's only 8.30, and my pottery class is not till 1, so I don't have anything to do for a while. I don't have to start getting ready for a while. So, I'm gonna play The Sims, and I'm also going to listen to music while I'm doing that. Um, and then, you know, so you can- you can play The Sims, or you could, you know, you could, you could listen to music. You could listen to music while doing yoga or baking or doing your nails. Doing your nails is such a good and easy self-care activity. You could take a good shower. 
yeah, I'm just giving you options if you don't have The Sims. Um, I would recommend getting The Sims, but also I can't really tell you what to do, especially when it comes to spending money. Unless it's on me, if you want to uh, buy my Patreon, or some of my pottery, or just give me money. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. Anyways, okay, so I'm playing The Sims now. I'm gonna grab headphones. My fucking headphones broke. Finally, rest in peace to the kitty kraken, kraken kitties. I think I'm gonna just get the wireless ones um, because the wire is just really long and my PC is literally right below me. So the wire kind of starts to wrap around itself and then it gets fucked up. These are basically dead, which sucks because they weren't cheap, but they're on sale right now. Um, so that's good for me. But, oh my God, hold on, let me show y'all. Fucking, they have a new one and it's Hello Kitty. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? I literally need these. Like, these were made for me. It has Hello Kitty. So I'm probably gonna get, th oh my god, look, it has all the little characters. Wait, look, look, look. I'm probably gonna get them. That was a random rant. And I'm gonna play The Sims, but actually I'm not because um, I had coffee this morning and I can feel it poking uh, poop out of my butthole, so I have to go poop. Okay, so go do something you like. Go do something that makes you feel good. And then we'll be back. <laughs> Two hours later. Okay, update, it has been like three hours. Wow, that, that was bad, that focus was bad. Um, it's been like three hours. I've been playing The Sims for straight up three hours. Um, and it's time to get dressed now, because it is 11.53 and my class is at one. So, here's the vibes today. I'm doing pottery, right? So I don't have to dress, I, I shouldn't dress like super nice. And also I'm on my period, so I double shouldn't dress super nice. But since the point of this is like how to look good when feeling bad, we still have to look cute, right? So I think what we're going for is like oversized while still looking cute. And to be fair, makeup is gonna help and we're gonna do makeup. But what I'm thinking is maybe these jeans, because these are super comfy jeans. These are like free people baggy jeans. Um, and then we could do a big t-shirt. I mean, I have like several of those. I feel like this would be cute. We're doing this with this and like my checkered vans or something, or since we're like being creative, I have these art vans, but honestly they don't match the shirt. So I feel like I would need to do a different shirt, which I'm okay with. We could do a big pants little top because I feel like this would match the shoes and it would still be cute. But are we feeling little top? Honestly, not really. And that's okay. Because like the whole point of this is to listen to yourself, you know? So what if we do this top. So it's kind of like a black and gray outfit with a pop of color in the shoes. I feel like that's not too bad. I'm going to I'm going to try that on. Okay, update. I changed um a lot of the outfit. I tried on the shirt with the black jeans I was talking about. Ignore the it's blurry, okay? It's whatever. Whatever. I think this is as good as the lighting's gonna get. Anyway, so I tried the shirt with the original jeans and it honestly just, I didn't like it. So then I tried different pants and I didn't like those. And I was gonna be like, maybe today's not a jean day. And then I remembered I have another pair of jeans and I tried them on and they work. So I have, you really can't, hold on. So here's like the final outfit I have on what if I put the camera to where you could fucking see the outfit? That'd be so cool, right? Okay, so I have these baggy jeans, baggy-ish jeans. They're kind of like, they're like, they're like baggy straight. They're not like super baggy. And then I have, I changed from the colorful vans to brown Converse. 
So it's kind of a simple but artsy outfit. Not like artsy artsy, but it's like, yeah, that looks like an outfit that someone would wear if they did art, you know? So now is the makeup. So now we need to do hair and makeup. For hair, I need to put it up because um, I'm gonna be hunched over and the hair's gonna get in my face. So I have an idea. I'm gonna do like two little, two little pigtails, not like pigtails, but like little buns, I guess. Ow. See, now I look like someone that does art. <laughs> We don't need to go all that crazy for the makeup. I mean, I never really do in general, but especially not for pottery class. Like we want to look cute. Recently I've been using a brush instead of a beauty blender to do my concealer. And I mean, I don't know if it makes a difference. I've heard it's better, but Honestly, I just started to do it because I got too lazy to wet my beauty blender every time I did my makeup. <laughs> Going in with the Rose Quartz palette. I don't really know how to explain what I'm doing, but I'm taking some like dark, warm, some warm tone like browns, um, and I'm putting them under my eye just to kind of add some dimension back in from the concealer. Because I did a lighter concealer than usual. I did my winter shade. Honestly, just because, um, this sounds weird. I don't think I look good tan, like, especially now that I'm blonde. Um, so I used a lighter shade. <laughs> to clarify, I'm not like tan, not really. I'm very white, obviously. What I meant is that I am tanner than usual. Believe it or not, I do get whiter. Um, and in certain lighting, like in here, the lighting's decent just because it's the office and like the time of day. But um, in other circumstances, you can tell that I am more tanner and I just don't think it looks good on me. That's what I meant. I'm not to say like I'm super tan right now because I'm not, but um, I'm tanner than I usually am. And I don't think that it looks that good now that I'm blonde. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I'm really talking like I know what I'm doing. But I don't, and I, I, it's, I know it's obvious that I don't, but if you're new here, I don't know what I'm doing, okay? Oopsies, apparently my camera ran out of uh, storage because I forgot to delete the clips from an old vlog. I don't know how much you missed. Um, not much, because I'm kind of still fucking this up. I've kind of been treating this like a vlog instead of a tutorial, which to be fair, it's a vlog-ish, but it's also like, you know, an advice vlog but okay so interpret me as putting on you know a cute outfit as you putting on you know either your favorite outfit or just an outfit that is cute or an outfit that you think you look good in because the whole point is trying to make you feel like you're hot right so now that we're doing makeup the takeaway for this should be kind of similar, right? It should be, you know, do makeup that you like or that you feel confident in or that you think looks good. I'm taking a Super Shock highlighter from ColourPop, but I'm using it on my inner corner and also this area, like right in here, to brighten up my eyes. That's kind of what the point of the glitter is. I want to like brighten up my eyes. Oh, another tip, if you want to look and feel good or to look good while you feel not so good, is to use whenever you're doing the actual look part, right? Because we kind of tackled the feel part, you know, by doing an activity that you like or that makes you feel good. But now that we're moving on, or now that we've moved on to the actual looks part. My tip would be use a product that you are very familiar with or a product that you know works for you, right? It can get a little tricky if you want to get experimental at this current state because if we're not feeling good and you decide to be a little bold and try a new look 
and it doesn't work out, then, you know, you could feel worse. So, you know, if you want to be creative, then be creative. But I would suggest playing it just a little bit safe. Okay, I think my eye makeup is good enough. I got this like a fucking while ago, but I just started using it. It's from Pat McGrath Labs. It's like a little like demo thing that I got at the checkout line in Sephora. You know how they have all the little like, not teasers, but like tester, the minis, right? So you can try out a product. This and another shade was in there and I've been using this recently and I like it a lot. Okay, cool. And I'm basically done with my makeup and also my battery's about to die, which is not good. Hold on. I need better light and also to change my battery and then we'll talk more. Okay, so here's my face. Plus like my hair and shit. I don't know why the camera's focus is so bad. And then here's the outfit. And I think it's cute. So let's do some final notes. How do we look hot when we feel like not, you know, when we feel bad for whatever reason it may be. I think I might not have emphasized this enough, but feeling good on the inside is like really important to feeling good on the outside. But if that's like not really doable, if you're just having an off day or if you're like me where you're on your period or what other circumstance and you can't like just be like, you know what? I feel good. At least try to do things that make you happy. Maybe not make you feel good, even though that is the goal, but make you feel happy, right? So for me, I listened to music and I played The Sims and I just relaxed. I didn't like think about work. I didn't do any chores because, you know, I don't love doing chores, <laughs> but I love playing The Sims. And so I did that. And so then when it was time to get ready, I wasn't like, I feel gross or I feel bad or I'm tired or I'm whatever, right? And then another step or another tip, I guess, for when you wanna look good, after we've already done the thing that makes us feel better, right? Is to maybe take it a little easy, right? Maybe don't like try something super bold because if you already don't feel good and then something goes wrong, it can make you feel worse. So stick to your comfort zones but also that doesn't mean that you have to dress how you feel inside, you know, wear something that makes you feel cute. Do your hair in like a, I don't know, cutesier way, right? Cause I totally could have just put my hair up in a claw clip, but I didn't want to do that cause that's boring and I wanted to look and feel cute. So I put my hair up in these weird bun things, right? Um, and I don't know, honestly, I didn't do anything all that different with my makeup except like eyeliner, barely, I added like, I added inner corner eyeliner, which is also not that out there for me, but I also did like a little bit out there. Um, but yeah, so listen, if you're looking for the answer straight up of like, how do I like myself? Um, I don't have the answer for you because sometimes you have days where you just don't. But my point of this video was like, obviously I have my tips, but you kind of just have to do what feels right and do what feels good and make yourself comfortable. And I think that that's <laughs> the best advice I could give. Um, so that was this video. This was like a random short video, but that's okay. And now I have to go to class and I'm so excited. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. If not, I don't know, maybe you're just here to hear me talk and that's fine. Thank you for that too. Um, but yeah, if you liked the video, like this video. If you liked the video, comment on the video. If you liked the video, subscribe to the video maker. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs>